Tonight, many places are still underwater. Take a look at this Lithia Springs Park in Hillsborough County. This is earlier today. You can see several trees down as well as lots of water over the sidewalks and the street there. Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins is back yeah. with a look at, yeah, I mean, our area. It's, uh, I just can't believe the bullet that we dodged here in the Tampa area. I mean, it's it's just incredible what's happening down there. We still have some cleanup. Uh, that, that was great video showing some trees down, that type of thing, all the water, the flooding. If you're out and about overnight when it's dark, especially the next couple of days, Drive a little bit extra slower on some of those back roads because you may come around a corner and find a tree or something like that that you weren't expecting to see. I want to show you a comparison between Hurricane Ian and Hurricane Charlie. This is the track that Ian took, okay? You can see it was coming up and across. Let's now go back to 2004 and look at the track that Charlie did. That's Charlie's track there. Look how similar that is. And in fact, look right back down here. Both of them right over Punta Gorda with landfall. And then you can see they both moved off to the north and the east. And then now we've got Ian sitting right here. I don't think uh, this is going to curve out like this. It looks like Ian's going to curve back in. Uh, Charlie was moving at 20, 25 miles per hour. Ian was kind of crawling at about 8 to 9 miles per hour. But still pretty eerie just how close they were.